Hi, it's Dr. T, your finance instructor. Exam. The final exam consists of two components. One component will assess your understanding of basic accounting, material you should have learned in Accounting 1. And the second component of the final exam will be drawn from the material in our textbook in chapters 1 through 7. So again, there are two components to the final exam. When you actually take the final exam and you go onto the D2L page, you will actually see two tests. You'll see the accounts type quiz final exam and you'll see an exam labeled final exam alternative. The first one, the accounts type quiz final exam, will assess your understanding of basic accounting. You will have approximately 15 minutes to do that portion of the exam. The second component of the exam, labeled final exam alternative, will assess your knowledge of the materials from chapters one through chapter seven, and you will have approximately 90 minutes to complete that portion of the final exam. You will be able to use or refer to your textbook, any Excel spreadsheets that I've provided, and any Excel spreadsheets that you make of your own while taking the exam. You shouldn't use any other materials, but again, you may use the textbook, and you may use any Excel files that I've provided, and you may use any Excel files that you have prepared while taking the final exam. I want to briefly outline how the two components of the final exam work together to generate points for you. Ultimately, you can earn up to 100 points by taking the final exam. If you earn 100% on the accounts type quiz, part one of the final exam, and you earn 100% on part two, of the final exam, you will receive 100 points in total for the final exam added to your course point total. If you receive 90% for your accounts type quiz, part one, and you receive 100% for part two, of the final exam, you will receive 90 points added to your course point total. If you receive 80% on your accounts type quiz part one, and you receive 100% on part two, you will earn an additional 80 points for the final exam that will be added to your course point total. Now, if you earn 80% on your accounts type quiz part one and you earn 80% on part two, you will earn only 64 points for the final exam that will be added to your course total because 0.8 times 80 is 64. So again, if you earn 80% on your accounts type quiz part one and 80% on part two of the final exam, you will receive only 64 points added to your course total. Finally, if you earn only 70% for your accounts type quiz part one, and you earn only 70% for part two of the final exam, you will only add 49 additional points to your course total. Because 0.7 times 70 is 49 points. So it's important that you try to get as high a score as you possibly can on part one, the accounts type quiz. 
To do well in this course, it's important to do well on the final exam. The final exam accounts for approximately a third of all of the possible points that you can earn in this course. So again, to do well in the course, it's important to do well on the final exam.